Marvel Rivals came in absolutely swinging with the new alpha test. Holy damn, the Punisher is amazing. But wait, don't don't worry. I'm not gonna sit here and just be glazing. I will let you know that there is some constructive criticism. Yes, not negativity. That I'm saving later on in the video. Please, and it is, don't kill me. Anyway, the good stuff. One, destructible environment. I am in absolute love with destructible environment. On paper, I didn't think it would be like this impacting, but they made sure that about like 80% of where you fight can be destructible. That, that's amazing and the heroes or champions or super i don't know what they're called in this game the heroes are absolutely fantastic each character is like their own game it doesn't feel like a hero in a hero shooter like when you play spider-man you feel like you are playing a spider-man game when you're playing iron man you feel like you're playing an iron man game this game gave me a feeling that even Overwatch and Paladins couldn't give me. And it's just how absolutely creative it is. And broken, by the way. Yes, there are some broken stuff. And as far as progression, I kind of like the mini battle pass we had. I really like the Galacta dialogue. I think there's a lot of potential to put lore in that. Like, much deeper lore than what we got. And of course, this game made something that no game that I know was able to accomplish. And that is to make healers actually more fun, more engaging, more deadly. Tactical heroes are basically, yeah, I can fuck you up while healing. Yeah, th that's what they are. I only played like three games of Luna Snow and holy fucking shit, she slaps ass. However, I am a Punisher Iron Man main. But if I had to pick a support, I'll pick Luna Snow. If I had to pick a tank, I'll pick Doctor Strange. Why? The portal is amazing. I can put the portal like above the enemy team and basically just shoot from the portal. I don't need to go in there. <laughs> My whole team can just shoot through the portal that's like behind the team at the top. And yeah, it feels amazing. Now, let's get to the constructive criticism that is totally not negativity tankiness why are heroes so fucking tanky the shields and healing in this game is absurd i could be using the turret of the punisher and shoot it straight through a groot and he literally doesn't get damaged like the same amount of damage that is dealt to him is the exact same amount that he is getting heals the healing and shields need need to get nerfed second thing is the revive system you could die and get revived in like a pod or something and even in overwatch i was always against that you're basically rewarding people for dying which is never a good thing when one fucks up and die, they fucked up. They go to respawn. I will forever say this rule. Alongside the other rule that is, please don't use a lot of immune abilities. Don't make any hero immune. This goes for Overwatch, for Paladins. Heroes going immune is just not fun. Let them use their shields to block stuff. Don't make them just go immune. Or like five seconds that five seconds is like half of the punches super holy fucking shit and could literally save anyone from iron man super by an ability like just one press meanwhile luna snow does like her ultimate and gets erased by fucking wanda what kind of defensive ultimate is that when you have literal immune abilities immunity and revive bad they should never be in the game next up is no play of the game what's up with that where is our play of the game i know there is a highlight system i know you can pick the highlights but i want to force players to watch my highlight <laughs> that's like the ego of being the best in the game i literally used to play overwatch for like the first year just because i wanted to be the play of the game and i don't know what the fuck paladins did paladins had played the game but they removed it for some reason fucking dipshits but yeah add play of the game you already have the highlight system finally is the controller why is the dead zone so weird 
aiming with a controller is literally the same as aiming with a stick of butter. It's like you're trying to play with your penis that has erectile dysfunction. I move my scroll like a tiny bit and it does nothing. I want to like very accurately aim at the person flying, but for some reason the scroll doesn't register. Controllers cannot make slight movements without moving a lot of the scroll whatever is happening please just fix it it's it's probably the dead zone and yep overall i know i rambled a lot on the constructive criticism section but yeah the game is actually really damn good i absolutely put it above overwatch and paladins like very close to paladins overwatch can eat shit at least paladins lets you literally play as a dragon like a giant fucking dragon and yep as an alpha test it's absolutely solid despite everything i said there is a lot of potential there's so much room for improvement i do predict that if the server stuff is fixed all the technical issues is fixed in the final game this game is absolute bangers it's gonna be fucking wild and yep just wanted to share my passion with this uh, game punisher is best boy that's about it